Miss Universe is South Africa. America and to see Vanessa be brought back and given her due was emotional for me. Never did I think I would feel more emotional about pageants until now. For the first time ever, the titles of Miss America, Miss World, Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, and Miss Universe are all held by black women at the same time. White Plains of the house. Oh, so oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I, let me just start with your own words. So, Zavini, in an interview, you pointed out, you said, and you said this also in the pageant, I grew up in a world where a woman who looks like me with my kind of skin and my kind of hair was never considered beautiful. I think that it is time for that to stop, and it stops today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, hearing your whole life that you're not the standard, mm -hmm. and then you break the mold. What was that like for God, you? That was so incredible. You know, at that moment, I felt, even if I don't win, I have to say this, somebody has to hear this, you know? I've already made top three, so I need to say it, I need to deliver the message. And so to win was actually just like, more than I really bargained for, you know. Just, I really needed to get my message out. <laughs> you said more than you bargained for. Like, yeah. What did you What did you bargain uh, for? What did you think was possible that night? You know, for me, I just wanted to be there. I mm. felt like being there would be enough because I'd already, you know, won my national pageant. Even there, it, it's something that had never happened before with someone who has my hair, really, because there have been, you know, black winners before. Did you feel then, pressure to change your hair? Um, you, before I entered, people did ask, are you going to go in with your hair? And it was a, a question that came up so many times. And I thought to myself, if people keep asking me this, it means that they don't see the way that I am now as beautiful. Yeah. And if I change my hair, then it means that I think the same thing, too. Yeah. So, media reaction I, I I've just been I've gotten a joy for the first time in many years of reading Twitter I lost <laughs> love for it some of the tweets for the first time this is what someone said for the first time I feel seen around the world Miss Universe Miss USA Miss America Miss Teen USA all black women they look like me they look like my sisters they look like my family someone said what a time to be alive all major pageant titles are dripping in melanin black girl magic <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. and you know Chesley, I started to think about it and I said, you know what, I get the self-pride. I get it, being a black woman and seeing this. But all women should feel a sense of pride when they see you mm -hmm. on that stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because for each of you at some point, someone told you there was no room for you. Mm -hmm. And you found room. How did you, I guess, muster up the courage to beat the odds, to be the underdog who becomes the queen. <laughs> well, I think for me, it was important to see examples in my community. My mom, she was Mrs. North Carolina U.S. 2002. So she won this title for married women when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And so I remember being a child and seeing her example. And I think oh, seeing wow. that example made it possible for me uh, because I knew if even if I'm a black woman, even if there haven't been that many black women to win this title, my mom did it and I can too. Yeah. Um, and she was actually the second black woman to be Mrs. North Carolina. I I love you bragging on mom. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love that. It was seeing that example that 
that was so important to me. And seeing that example made things very possible for me. It is. And Kaylee, your hair also came a big part of the yeah. conversation <laughs> um, because you decided to wear your natural hair. Yes. Yeah, so growing up, I straightened my hair since I was six years old. I always got a, one of those Brazilian chocolate treatments. And um, it's just what I knew. I went to a predominantly all white public school since second grade. And I wanted, I was a big mommy's girl. So I wanted to look as much as I could like my mom. And she has blue eyes, long blonde hair. And so my way of trying to do that was straightening my hair. But going through high school, trying to figure out who I was, I like realized like, hey, maybe I should switch it up. So I cut it and I chopped it, got the big chop, had it curly and I wasn't even thinking about pageants when I did the big chop. I was just doing it for me. And so I had people asking like, oh, are you gonna put extensions on? Are you gonna have a sew-in for, for when you compete? And I said, no, because, because, <laughs> because it's my hair. It's what I'm comfortable in. And before the pageant, you spent the night before oh, individually yeah. curling your hair yes. yourself. So that's one of the way, techniques I learned for if I wanted to be really defined, because it's like, Everybody thinks having naturally curly hair, like, it's easy. You just yeah, go in the easy. shower and you just jump out. It's just no. like that. It's like, no, that doesn't <laughs> it's work. Like the night before, you're going curl by curl. I'll take tiny sections and I'll put, like, leave-in conditioner in my hair and then I'll just take a small little piece of hair and I'll coil it around my finger. Every single one. Yeah. Every oh, single man. piece. Takes forever. And then <laughs> I'm left with non frizzy <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, you all have these beautiful crowns, but it's the crown you were born with yeah. that got all of this great attention for you. What is it like when you walk around together? I mean, granted, I'm sure you don't walk around with a sash. Do you, <laughs> do you walk around with a sash? Because I would. I just would walk around all I night. I did when I won. You when I, when I you made apartment, I'd be like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. What is it like when you see young women, young men, react to you and your place in this world now? For me, I think it's just the look on their faces when they look at you with so much hope, like, I can do it too. I think that's like the biggest privilege um, I've had with, with the crown. I mean, it's only been a few, um, it's only been a few days. Has it settled in in a few days? Just a little, I'm getting there. Because <laughs> um, it was a little overwhelming at first, but the social media messages I'm getting from moms saying, my four-year-old daughter was sitting on the couch and she's now wearing a crown saying, you look like me, you know? And for me, I think that's just the most precious thing at the moment happening for me right now. And it is, I mean, we all, no matter who you are and where you're from, you carry your culture, your people with you. That's why I always tell folks, you let me be unapologetic black woman, you can be Irish, Jewish, everything. If we celebrate our diversity, that makes people comfortable. We shouldn't have to close off whatever you are, yeah, who you are. And I know, but we know that hasn't always been the case, and it's not always the case. I read this, and it, it actually blew me away. The Smithsonian said that in 1940, pageant rules stated that contestants must be of good health and the white race. Mm -hmm. That was 1940. My mom was born in 1950. Many of our audience members, I won't out you, were born in the 40s. <laughs> you know, and to see this reversal mm -hmm. yeah. of dignity mm -hmm. for women of color is incredible. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the weight of it? <sighs> I there is a little bit of weight, but for me, I think it's pride yeah. more than anything. Uh, to be able to represent my country at a global stage because like you said for me being from South Africa 25 years ago, it wasn't even possible for a black woman yeah. to 25 years yeah. I mean, I was born into a democracy. I'm the first of my family to be born into a democracy So to be able to represent my country not as only beautiful, but as intelligent and as capable yeah. is it's, it's incredible. And Being a child of a multiracial family, you know, here you are, the best of your mom and the best of your dad, and this is the new world order, yes. where in 20 years, this is it. Diversity. Diversity. You are the representation of that. We have all the cover stories being like all these black winners, but then you know you also get those negative comments saying like, oh, she's, she's not, not she's, you're not a black oh woman. Yeah. Yeah. Cynthia, I didn't ask you about yeah. that for a reason, because I don't care what they say, and neither should you. Mm -hmm. We want to celebrate what you are mm -hmm. and who you are. And Chesley, I have to know, what is it like to wake up the next morning and you're like, 
Is that crown yeah. sitting doing? <laughs> was this a dream? What is it like the next day? It's unbelievable. Like I remember when I won, you know, the next morning waking up and I'd had like maybe a bag of Twizzlers and an entire bag of Reese's Pieces. Was that your first junk food? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. She has a lot of that. I love junk food. <laughs> so I remember I woke up and I thought, oh my God, why did I eat all that? I have swimsuit. And I thought, oh my God, I won. I won. <laughs> But now they're roommates. Can you believe it? When we come back, we're going to find out how they are living together in New York City and what is next for these history making women. <laughs> Meet Cammy. As a five year old, she's an expert in pretty much nothing. Oh, sorry. She's an expert in one thing buttered noodles. Because it's the only thing she'll actually eat. To have her eat a little bit better, Cammy's mom decided to try new country crock plant butter. Now, Cammy likes two things, buttered noodles and plant buttered noodles. Mm. New country crock plant butter cooks, bakes, and tastes like butter. Even butter lovers love it. Find your rhythm, your happy place. Find your breaking point. Then break it. Every emergency gives you a potent blend of nutrients so you can emerge your best with emergency. <laughs> the good news, our protection is guaranteed. The bad news, the perfect photo is not. Depend Fit Flex underwear offers your best comfort and protection guaranteed because perfect or not, life's better when you're in it. Be there with Depend. Running out of gift ideas, seeking something more. Well, if inspiration's what you're searching for, follow me to a place I know with endless possibilities. So you can check your list off row by row. I'm making this song up as I go. Come on, look around. So much in store. You'll spend much less, but gift much more at the stores that you've been searching for. Spend less, gift better at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. That worked well. Call Right Window right now. Quality windows, patio, and entry doors installed with a lifetime warranty. Schedule now and take 50% off the cost of installation on any patio or entry door and $50 off our warmest Energy Star window, plus free financing with 0% interest for 18 months. A new front door will get you curb appeal, new windows will get you warm, and with one call, you get our price. Call Right Window right now. Windows, doors installed for the right price, right window. Right now, get free delivery on any order from the Popeyes app. That's any of our favorites from our crispy chicken to our signature sides straight to your door. So put those feet up and get ready to feast. Love that chicken from Popeyes. At Gentle Dental, you get quality care at affordable prices. New patients get their cleaning, exam, and x-rays for just $57. The best care possible at Gentle Dental. Payment options are available. Schedule an appointment at GentleDental.com. Congratulations, North Carolina! Take your first walk as the new Miss USA! That was the moment of Chester Fisher from Miss USA. We are back with Miss Team USA, Miss USA, and our roommate, Miss Universe. So, Chesley, you and Zosabini are roommates. Yes, we yeah. are. <laughs> what is that like? <laughs> it's like a nonstop slumber party. Yeah. <laughs> Were you assigned? Or how, how did you become roommates? Yeah. Um, so Miss USA and Miss Universe become roommates every year. They live together. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the Miss Universe organization actually runs the Miss USA competition and the Miss Universe competition. And so they provide housing for both of us mm -hmm. together. That is so fun. <laughs> I, I love that. that awesome. I came out in the audience. So many questions. We have Miss White Plains in the house. Congratulations. I was going to congratulate oh, you. Too. Okay. What's Congratulations. I'm Danielle. Danielle, what's your And fight? back in 1989, I did Miss USA New York. I didn't place, but so oh, okay. I'm really excited. Listen, this is all legacy here, all part of it. What's and your my, question? My, my daughter is 13. Um, she was Miss New York um, last year, and just wondering, like, what advice to give her to keep oh. going, because yeah. she wants a supreme title. The next generation, thank you. So what is your advice for the next generation who wants to join in and now see they have a place because of you? Yeah. I would definitely say being the youngest out of us, we just turned 19 over the summer. Uh, uh, I would definitely say keep finding yourself and it's okay to change 
over time because you're going to keep figuring out who you are as time changes and that's completely okay if you have a dream just go for it and just make sure you have the right people around you to support you all the way absolutely and before we let you go do you know what's next for you on this journey i know you have big responsibilities for the next year mm -hmm. oh my for me i think i'm so open to anything right now i really literally want to leave a blank page um and just accept what the universe has for me i'm not sure what it is yet but i know whatever it is i'm gonna have so much fun yes. with it and it's gonna be great yes yeah, so Kaylee, what's next for you so, um, i'm currently an impact ambassador for dress for success so i've done a nationwide tour to different affiliates across the nation it's been incredible yeah. so i'm going to keep doing that throughout the end of my reign um and i've also been doing some work as a correspondent for extra tv which oh, is wow. so exciting so i'm going to keep doing that and then afterwards continue working for extra here in new york chesley you're 19. <laughs> you got a plan you it's too that. early yeah. you know it's funny i'm literally the oldest miss usa ever i'm 28 and there's never been an older miss usa i feel like i deserve like a t-shirt or a shirt oh no listen that is young and you're amazing the impact that you've had on history the view of beauty across the world will last the test of time. Thank you so much. It's such a huge Thank honor you. to have you here. Congratulations. And when we come back, one of my favorite guys, Jamie Siminoff, he invented the Ring Smart Doorbell. Jamie was rejected from Shark Tank. He went on to be the CEO of a billion dollar company. Can you believe they passed on the Ring Doorbell? I bet they're sorry now. Jamie, after the break. <laughs> Tickets go to TamaranHallShow.com and click on tickets at the top of the page. Pick a date, a time, and guess what? We'll see you there. <laughs>